Hi, I'm Clara. Today we are going to display some common examples of poor cats. It will be shown in pictures and I will list the possible reasons and corresponding solutions. Before we get into the video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me your like. It really helps me out. Thank you for your support. Okay, let's start the cabin steel cats. From the picture, the entire cat section has a clear layering. The upper layer is okay, but the lower layer has obvious lines and wrinkles. The reasons for this problem could be Number 1. Pressure is set too large. Please try to reduce the pressure appropriately and cat again. Number 2. Focus is set too slow. So we can raise the focus position and try to cat again. Normally, the focus position for cutting cabin steel is positive. A video up here tells the details of focus positions in Fabulaser Cutting. Number three, the nozzle is oversized. It's better to replace a smaller nozzle in cat again. We can see the second picture. Fine lines appear on the cat surface. The possible reasons for this issue can be number one, Pressure is set too large. Please try to reduce the pressure appropriately and cut again. Number two, cutting speed is set too slow. We can speed up and try to cut again. The third picture shows us there are similar welding slacks at the bottom. It could be caused by number one, pressure is set too low. So, no enough gas to blow away the slacks. We need to adjust a higher pressure. Number two, focus is set too low. So, we can raise the focus position and try to cut again. Number three, the nozzle size is smaller. It's better to replace a larger nozzle and cut again. Number four, cutting speed is set too fast. We can slow down and try to cut again. The picture shows there is overburning at the bottom. Number one, power is much higher. We can reduce the peak power and try cutting. Number two, pressure is set too large. Please try to reduce the pressure appropriately and cut again. Number three, cutting speed is tight set too slow. We can speed up and try to cut again. There is a single video talking the problem of overburning. Please click the video up here. Next picture shows the half good, half poor. If we have such cuts, it could be number one, the nozzle is not wrongly enough or there are particles inside the nozzle. So it's better to check the nozzle or just replace one. Number two, cutting speed is set too fast. We can slow down and try to cut again. Number three, the protective lens is not clean anymore. We need to take it out and inspect whether there is water, oil, waste, or spots on it. If it's contaminated, clean or replace it. More details on the protective lenses, please check the video up here. Number four, laser beam is offside from the very center. So we need to take steps to adjust the laser center. The video up here will show the basic steps to find the center. The pictures shown here, there are small fine lines on the bottom of the cat section, the mental melting residues at the bottom. It's caused by the slow cutting speed, so we need to speed up and the cutting will get better. Next, the picture shows there is a mental melting residue on the surface. The reasons for such an issue could be number one, cutting speed is set too fast. We can slow down and try to cut again. Number two, pressure is set too low. Please try to adjust the higher the pressure appropriately and cut again. Number three, focus position is not set properly. So we need to find the suitable focus position and cut again. If there are lines on the cat section like the picture shown here, probably the cutting speed is set too fast. We need to slow down and make a cat again. 
if there are lines on the cat section like this, it could be caused by number one, focus position is set too high. We need to reset the focus parameter and cat again. Number two, pressure is set too large. Please try to reduce the pressure appropriately in the cat again. Last picture shows the overburning at corners. It's caused by more power stayed for cutting corners. So if it's allowed, we can add chamfers at the corners. We can apply ring cut. We can add cooling points at corners. We can set power curves. If you want to know more about the power curves, please click the video up here. The above pictures just show the common issues we may get across when cutting carbon steel, so you can just take the video as a reference. After all, we cannot come up with two identically poor cuts. Please don't forget to subscribe me and give me your like. Thank you for joining me here today. Next video, we'll continue talking the poor cat examples. So please return here next Tuesday here on my channel. See you. Bye.